Hey Internet, today is Big Cookies Day. Because this time of year just isn't right without some cookies. So let's go make things right and bake some cookies. Alright, here are our ingredients. Now let's get into this. Alright, to start you're going to want to take your butter and your two types of sugar and then go ahead and beat them up until it looks nice and fluffy. You're actually supposed to wait until this step to add in your brown sugar, but go ahead and add in your egg yolk and your vanilla extract, and then beat that up until everything's just mixed up. Now take a separate bowl and add in your flour and that little bit of salt, and go ahead and whisk that together. Now start adding in that flour mixture bit by bit, and then you want to beat it on low until it looks like lumpy sand. Now you want to start taking that dough and rolling it into about one inch size balls, and setting it off to the side here. Now you want to pop these in the fridge and let them firm up for about a half hour. And while the dough is cooling down, I'm going to bake these almonds for seven or eight minutes at 350. All right, I'm going to let those almonds cool down a bit, but I'm going to come over here and start whisking up that egg white until it looks nice and foamy. Now that the almonds have cooled down a little bit, I'm going to start chopping them up. All right, once those cookies are done cooling down, you want to take them, go ahead and dip them in that egg white mixture first, and then roll them in your almonds. Get them nicely coated there. There you go, and set them on the cookie sheet. Now you want to give each one of those a nice thumbprint. Like that. Now these need to bake for 15 minutes at 350. Alright, I have the cookies cooling over here on a wire rack, and I'm going to start melting down some of those caramel squares with some heavy whipping cream on low heat. That should take about 7 or 8 minutes. Alright, once that's melted down, you want to go ahead and add that in to your thumbprint on each one of those cookies. Now you just want to sprinkle each one with some coarse sea salt. And there you go. Oh, we done baked some cookies, all right. Let us dine upon them. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. That is one heck of a good blend of awesome. I just have another. The caramel likes it will solidify pretty quickly. Caramel always tastes good. We got that little bit of whipping cream in there too to make it a little more liquidy, a little creamier. The nuts are nice. You don't even notice the uh, little bit of salt, but it, it blends in there. Your tongue knows it's there. If you want to make these cookies yourself, then you probably have good taste. So I've provided you with a link down below to the recipe, and I've added another link down there for those of you who tend to inhale about a dozen cookies at a time. <laughs>